Well, the polls have opened in a historic referendum that will determine whether the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia will change its name to the Republic of North Macedonia. Voters are being asked if they'll accept a deal with the Greek government that will see Athens end its long-held opposition of its northern neighbour to joining NATO and the European Union. Well, SBS Europe correspondent Ben Lewis is in the capital Skopje. Ben, what result is being anticipated there? Well, Darren, good evening. Most opinion polls in recent weeks have shown that the Yes campaign has the most support among likely voters, but voter turnout is going to be the key issue here. It really needs to be above 50% for Parliament here to declare it the representative will of the people. We've spent the last couple of days travelling around this small country, speaking to residents about their thoughts on this very divisive issue. The Macedonian capital is a city of statues. Tourists make a game of counting how many they can spot in an hour. Few, however, are relics. Most were built this decade, including this 28 metre tall monument. Clearly, it's Alexander the Great, king of ancient Macedonia. But because both Greeks and present day Macedonians claim him as their own, the statue's official title is the generic warrior on a horse. That's just one of the many disputes about use of the Macedonian name and the history which comes with it. But soon this country, which declared independence in 1991 as the Republic of Macedonia, could become the Republic of North Macedonia. I praveden dogovor, napravivme kompromis. Kompromisot go dviži svetot. Kompromisot ne mrda od mrtva točka. Dovolno beše za bodena vokalta Makedonije 27 godini. Ethnic Albanians like Remzi Osmani make up a quarter of the population and are among the biggest supporters of the name change. Prvo, imalo stabilnost kod država. Vtorok ima investicije od nadvor. Those against renaming are urging people to boycott the referendum rather than vote no, so it's ruled invalid. The main opposition party says EU and NATO membership could be achieved without making such a big concession to Athens. Changing the constitutional name of this country would go in contrary to the basic principles of self-determination, uh, which are international norms that in the 21st century shouldn't be an issue between two nation states. For some joining the boycott, it's a matter of heritage and pride. The name is very important for our identity, for our culture. But many Macedonians feel there are more pressing matters at hand. For some supporters of the Yes campaign, this referendum is less about identity and more about the economy. Almost a quarter of adults in this country are unemployed and the average monthly wage is one of the lowest in the Balkans. They hope EU integration will fix that. Bitola is in the south of the country and has strong links to the Australian Macedonian community. Dragan Baleski makes his living selling Macedonian souvenirs here, but isn't concerned about a potential change to his national identity. Macedonia is now in the southern part of the southern part of the country of Greece, and it is objectively a geographical area that would not be affected by Macedonia and the Macedonian people, so that it is protected. We travelled into Greece to speak with Pavlos Voskopoulos, a prominent ethnic Macedonian politician who lives in the town of Florina. I asked him if he thought acceptance of the new name would improve relations with the Greek government. We are always fighting and working with this hope. We are trying to be in Greece a positive citizen. <laughs> A man walking past kicks the camera tripod and tries to knock it over. He angrily suggests we head back across the border. Passions run hot in this debate. 
There are many factors at play in this referendum. Concerns about fake news and potential Russian interference have been raised. And there's still a chance Greek politicians will block the deal in Athens. But whatever the outcome of the vote, it will likely set in motion events which will dramatically change the future of this small but proud nation. So the polls have now been open for a couple of hours. They will remain open until early evening, evening Macedonian time tonight. We're told we should expect a result by around mid-morning Monday Australian time. And Darren, it'll be interesting to see how effective that boycott campaign has been. We spoke to a number of people, particularly in regional areas of Macedonia, who didn't want to speak on camera, but they said they will be backing the boycott. It seems that it does have some momentum. OK, thank you, Ben. SBS Europe correspondent Ben Lewis there in Skopje.